Hey guys, welcome back to my hunting house. Today I'm gonna to try to pull Christian aside and have him go over some of the different release aids and styles of releases that there are. Christian is a very good shooter. He's our lead engineer here at the shop as well as one of the master technicians. Hopefully he'll be able to share some insight into some ways that you can improve your shooting. Okay, so we're gonna go over the four most common types of releases. Um, we have the most popular hunting choice probably is gonna be the index release, straps around. Your wrist it's fired with your index finger uh, very simple and easy to use on the stand solex um, you have trigger tension and travel adjustment and travel adjustments right here on the release the tension adjustments right here that's one of the reasons we do really like this wrist strap release it has a lot of adjustment in it so you can really get it to the feel you want and get it to the shot engagement style that you like the next most common one would probably be the thumb button uh, this is thumb activated. This one has an external sear you cock with, and then once you pull the trigger, it'll fire. Um, these are getting really popular for hunting. We're seeing more and more guys going to a thumb style release or any handheld release. The next most popular would probably be a hinge. This one op operates off of rotation. So this one's set up with a click. You'd hear a slight click, and then the release will fire once you travel a little bit further. And then the other style of release um, that a lot of people kind of overlook is a tension style release. Um, so on this one, the thumb peg is actually a safety. So you hold this down while you're drawing the bow. When you get all the way back, you let go. And then once you hit your set tension, this release will fire. Um, so these usually get set a couple pounds above your holding weight. These are my personal releases, the Perfexes. These also both have tension and travel adjustment. On this one, the bigger screw is gonna be your tension, the smaller one's your travel. And these have locking screws on the sides of the body. On the resistance, you really only have a tension adjustment because that's what you're using to set off the release. So you can set the tension a few pounds above your holding weight uh, a lot. You can go way heavier than your holding weight. A lot of that comes down to the shooter preference and how hard you wanna pull into the wall. We generally start them about three to four pounds above holding weight and then adjust them for the user from there. Then when we go to the hinge, um, some hinges don't have an adjustable click, um, but they have different moons that you can trade them out. So you can do a small click or a slow click, a long click or no click. On this release, the click is adjustable, so it's all built into one release. So it's got a locking screw on the back and then an adjustment screw on the back of the head. And so you can adjust the fire speed and the click speed on this release. So you can adjust it anywhere from no click to a very early click or a long click, um, depending on your style of shooting. For me, I like to set these up so that they click right when I hit full draw and, and get into my anchor point as soon as I'm starting to let off that thumb peg. And that's when I know to start my, start my shot cycle. Um, so we'll go over the range and kind of show you how they all work. All right, starting off with the index style release. This is a Stan Solex. Uh, we've been recommending these a lot because they're really adjustable. It's a really nice index finger release without crazy high price point. These are about 99 bucks um, and it has adjustable tension. So this release, you just clip onto your loop. It's best as a new shooter, especially to tuck your finger behind that trigger. You want to make sure you're not going to set this guy off while you're drawing. And then when you're ready to shoot, you just reach over. And then when you're ready, you just reach over. Start pulling, pulling, pulling till that thing goes off. Nice surprise release. So now I'm gonna go to the thumb button style release. So this release, you have to pre-cock. So we'll push the button and then we'll put the hook right on the string. This is a stand Perfex. It's the older generation of what they have now, which would be the Onyx. The nice thing with this style release is once it's cocked and on the string, it stays there. So if you're doing tree stand hunting, ground blind, even spot and stock, and you're sitting there for a while, it's nice to just leave your release attached to it. it makes it nice and easy. <laughs> then this release, once we get back, we're gonna reach over, wrap our thumb around the barrel, and then start to pull and engage those back muscles. So we'll get to our anchor, thumb around, and start to pull. Next will be the hinge release. There's a few different ways guys like to get these to activate. Um, 
Big thing with this one, keep your thumb on the peg that keeps you from rotating your hand too far and keeps the release from going off while you're drawing. Hear a lot of people talking about punching themselves in the face when they're learning this style of re release. It's really good to start with what we have here, nice and short, really close to your target. So if it does go off, it's not gonna go anywhere that you're not expecting it to. Come back to anchor. I'm not sure if the microphone will pick it up, but there's that click. And then we'll start our shot. Nice surprise release there. And then the last release, which I think is one of the best training tools you can get, it's going to be the tension release. So this is a Stan Perfects Tension, which they have in the Onyx. Carter makes one, the Evolution, um, the Knock On Silverback are all tension style releases. So this one we're going to clip onto the string, and then when we're drawing we need to hold the safety down. Where's the safety? The safety is the thumb button. So unlike a thumb button, this one you want to hold the button down while you're drawing. So we'll come back, get to our anchor, finger off the safety, and start to pull. Just like that. Hopefully that'll give you some information on the type of releases that are out there. There's a lot of different choices, different manufacturers. You just have to find that one that fits your hand and your shooting style the best. And get used to it, shoot it a lot, and that'll be the best way to improve your shooting. We've got tons of releases on solohunter.com.